Hello everybody. Welcome back. Please leave a like so this video is recommended to others and hit that subscribe button so you can keep seeing videos just like this. There's literally a station on the TV. Go to it. And it's just a toilet. It's a camera pointed at a toilet. And there's no sound. It hasn't moved in, what, 30 minutes? The devil wears Prada. There's no way that that plays on Bravo. There's just this blue toilet. That's it. It's not our toilet. That's a call the cops immediately moment. Yeah, at this point, I've just come to accept that if I'm staying at a hotel or Airbnb, I'm just assuming that someone's recording me. I somehow broke physics with this fence. My dog escaped from it the other day. I got mad at it, so I slammed it. This used to be on the other side of this. And somehow, both of them are unharmed, and now it's on the other side. I've tried like moving this thing out of the way and like trying to bend them back. It's not even close. Like I don't, I really have no clue how this ended up on that side with nothing broken. Bro's never heard of twins. Hmm. Whoa. Am I of 1995? What the? Look at this. Not even dairy, just milk and just eggs. Holy. Is this leaf not mother fowler? Why is this leaf not fowler? It's no trees above. Well, it is, but it's nothing hanging. I don't see nothing. TikTok. Let me know. What he needs to do now is slam it as hard as he can. Maybe it'll glitch back to the other side. Eerie moment, cops find a missing elderly woman with Alzheimer's in swamp and gator infested Tampa. Oh. Hey ma'am, come. Come here. Come to me. Ma'am, come on, let's go. We gotta get you out of here, we're gonna get you home. Ma'am, come on. Bang, bang, bang. There you go, come on. Sing, vamos, vamos. Let's go. Senor, I'm gonna pick you up. Okay, so the way, the way, the way, uh, I'm sorry, okay? Okay. Okay. Watch your, watch your step, though, Troy. Wow, that's crazy. I'm glad they found her, but imagine you're going for your night walk and you see what you think is a ghost in the swamp. This is sad, but also the creepiest body cam footage I've seen. Dang man, no work-life balance. Even when you're at home, they bring your work to you. What are the chances? What are the chances? Woman used to board an old house where lived. 
Somewhere in Greater Poland, police were called in response to her strange behavior. Bro was like, I don't get paid enough for this. I love how he pulled a stick out to poke her. <laughs> like somehow you were gonna be able to cuff her like that. So, like two minutes ago, I hear the helicopter. You can like, it's loud. Burr, 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 making that noise and come out here to look. And I'm sitting outside, but I come out from underneath the pool area and I saw so where I could see and I see blue coming out from underneath it. And, you know, we're like thinking it's a flare or whatever. It's not a flare, man. I, we watched it till it ran out. Like he legitimately just kept spraying my, it literally right above my house, this blue chemical, whatever the heck it is. And, um, and just flew off just you know went about his business after it ran out i stopped recording before it ran out. well that's weird mm, let's see maybe somebody having a baby boy oh a gender reveal it's possible but who really is spending money out here like that another possibility here pretty sure the city spring for mosquitoes they do that i didn't know they did that this one's a mystery That dog was so freaked out. <laughs> he was so flabbergasted. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. Buddy. Here we go. Turn. What type of human being are you, bro? <laughs> Skydiving with no parachute. What if he passed out mid-air? <laughs> like if dude would have missed, it would have been game over. One of the worst episodes yet of why you think you want my job, but definitely don't really. Right now my tent is being dismantled by leaf cutter ants. It's about 2 a.m. and I've been trying to sleep and there's about 10 million leaf cutter ants outside of this tent. And all they are doing is cutting leaf size holes out of my tent. They are carrying away the nylon into the night. And because the leaf cutter ants are working to dismantle every single thing that I own, they're opening up holes big enough for me to put my fist through, which means everything else in the Amazon is coming into my tent. And because of that, I keep turning on the lights. I just woke up because there's a leaf cutter ant using its pincer jaws to bite my ear to try and carry off a piece. And inside this tent right now are ants and termites and mosquitoes, some sort of centipede, hoppers, moths, and some insects that I can't even identify. This is one of those times where you know it's four more hours until morning. If you get out of the tent, you're gonna get destroyed by mosquitoes. It's raining outside, you're gonna get wet. This is what camping in the wild is. Sometimes you put your tent in the wrong place and the leaf cutter ants and the gods of the jungle decide it's gonna be the worst night ever. All I can do is try and get some sleep and I wake up every few seconds to try and slap something off my face or something flies up my nose. This is one of those nightmare nights, man. Oh boy. <laughs> 
Dude's gonna wake up and there's gonna be no tent. He's basically just getting robbed by all of nature. My uncle just got out after a 16 year sentence and technology has him confused. Dr. Pepper? <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Bro, you are evil. That does have to be crazy. If you've had to do a bunch of time, it's gotta feel like you're time traveling. Wild orangutan has decided to partake in his own jungle pharmacy. He's using medicinal plants to treat a wound. So he would pluck it, chew the leaves to create like a paste and then apply it to the scash on his face. This plant is known for its pain relieving qualities and anti-inflammatory properties. In addition to pasting this on, he would pick leaves and use them as a bandage. How did he learn this? That's what I'm saying. Like, so was he in captivity? Do we know? Is he no, 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 no. This, this is a is wild a, animal. Dude, that is insane. So, he had to have seen somebody do so this. So there's either generational knowledge, yeah. meaning like elephants pass down migratory roots, or there's something in chewing and eating it. The plant does have pain relieving and anti-inflammatory properties. So, you know, if you put neosporin good. on a cut, it feels good, yeah. right? And you're like, oh, that feels better. I mean, he obviously has figured this out. Like, this is a self-healing thing that this animal has either been you know generationally passed down or figured out through chewing and applying they're in the stone age bro there was another orangutan too that was uh spear fishing i think next time i need a prescription i'm gonna just head out to the zoo <laughs> you can see the regret in his eyes please tell me this is fake There's no way he's really going through with this. Oh no. <laughs> Why, dude? Why? My guy's holding back tears. No. If this was the plan, you could have just took a sharpie to your face. If you ever feel like someone's watching you, but you're home alone, this could be why. A girl by the name Riley was home alone one night watching TV. And she begins to feel like someone's watching her. Creeped out, she begins to look around her room since her boyfriend Alex isn't home yet. She notices the door slightly open, but it can't quite see outside. As she uses her phone's camera and zooms in, she makes a horrifying discovery. Just like a horror movie, someone or something can be seen completely still, staring at her from the corner of the door. The video is titled Just a Little Delusional, which left many questions as to what exactly happened here. Did Riley capture an actual intruder watching her, or is it simply just a creepy skit? It's your landlord. They're there to collect rent, and you're putting him on blast on the internet. <laughs> an apartment pole collapsed above a garage. Anybody up for some nighttime swimming? Add that to your fears that you've unlocked. It went so quick too, man. It just disappeared completely. I'm flying on one of the most dangerous flights in the world on an airline that's literally banned in Europe because one in three pilots was found to have fake licenses. I'm flying on what? PIA and <laughs> oh my God. As soon as I got on the plane, I was recording and they told me you can't record. And I was like, okay, that's a bit weird. But then as soon as I got on the plane, I can see why. And at this point, I'm already like debating what I'm doing. And I was like, is that duct tape on the overhead and we're already in there at this point so there's nothing i can do i'm just praying for a safe landing because this is one of the most dangerous flights because i'm landing in between mountains but once i got over that 
I looked outside my window and look at these views. So I'm going to Skardu and if you know anything about Skardu, you know this is basically the Switzerland of Pakistan. People don't know but Pakistan actually has one of the best landscapes in the entire world. This fight was pretty cool because the pilot was pretty interactive with us. He was giving us little facts and everything about what peak we were going over. And this part was freaking me out because I can't see anything. So I don't know how they're seeing anything. And now it's time for landing. You can see we're in between the mountains right now. And it's not a straight shot to land. You have to circle multiple times to get low enough to land on the airstrip. Look how low we are right now. We're literally over the Indus River. And then we have finally landed in Skardu. And just take a look at the airport that we're in right now. This is just crazy. Like look at this oh my god I can't. i'm so excited to be here my guy said that one in three pilots have fake licenses what <laughs> i beg your pardon bro's pretty brave he risked it all for the video this is definitely the creepiest thing i found while hiking and i'm genuinely not sure whether i should call the police or not so for context i've been hiking for hours in a remote area of the pyrenees mountains far from civilization when i suddenly came across this ruin just off the trail it hadn't showed up on any of my maps so i was curious as to what it was but when i entered inside things instantly took a creepy turn despite the state of the ruin and how isolated it was it was clear that someone was living here as i found jars of food on the shelves and cooking utensils but as i continued to look around the room things went from creepy to terrifying as i found these two beds and surrounding them was hundreds of photographs they were littered all over the floor and stuck to the walls. and what's crazy is that the photos on the walls look like they've been put there recently freaked out i got out of the ruin but nearby i found another smaller building and inside it was another bed only beside it seemed to be some rope i have no idea what's going on here but do you think i should contact local authorities about this is that even a question you 100 percent tell the cops about this that is creepy man that looks like a serial unaliver lives there <laughs> and i thought i couldn't bowl i think he went home and cried after that i know i would i don't know if this is common knowledge but because bats use echolocation you can just throw like something small into the air and their asses will swoop at it thinking it's a bug or something. Watch. Oh! So that was like a security key that I plug into an iPad I use at work uh, that it needs to unlock it. And I'm pretty sure a bat just carried it away. <laughs> like I cannot find it anywhere. So I might be about to get fired tomorrow. This is like the equivalent of having your dog eat your homework when you were in school. You gotta show your boss the video. Maybe he'll have a mercy on your soul. Three people were hospitalized after a homeless charity in New Zealand accidentally gave out sweets containing... The charity unknowingly distributed the sweets in food parcels after they were donated by a member of the public. They were alerted to the situation by a food bank client who reported a funny tasting sweet. But to make things worse, some people who received the food parcels were clients of the charity's addiction services. News that drugs had been distributed provoked distress. A staff member and young boy have since been released from the hospital and officers have now recovered 16 of the candies, but say more could be in circulation. Each sweet is said to have a street value of £473. How do you accidentally do this? Meanwhile, somebody's out there on a street corner actually selling real candy somewhere with some very unhappy customers. That is your definitive proof that ghosts are real. The ghost wanted to give him a tip for how good he did his job. I can't even get the f out of my car, man. Who f dog is this, bro? <laughs> bro, who, bro, where are you supposed to be at? Come on. Come on, get your buddy now. Get your buddy now. So that's what you be doing that night. You just outside just looking at folks. You know that man slept in his car the whole night? The whole night. You stood out that man's car for four and a half hours. You didn't even blink. You didn't blink. He told me you said on bloods 
Get out that car if you bad. He didn't even blink all night. <laughs> Bro was standing out there like he was Batman. He's just a neighborhood to watch. He's keeping your neighborhood safe. So, does everyone get a refund? How often does this happen? This makes me never want to get on a cruise ship ever. Imagine this happens while you're at the bar. You're like five drinks in and the alarm starts going off. What was that? Oh. The car's off. Just me. No. How am I acting scared? Bro, I'm taking a DoorDash. <laughs> Why is that? My hands are out. Well, someone is at this apartment complex waiting for their DoorDash order. They're hungry and waiting, bro. Can you take it to them? I'm, I'm going to get a violation, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, I'm gonna get a violation. Come on. Do you think I'm dangerous or something? Like, bro, can just come up here and talk to me like a man, bro. He straight roasted him. Come talk to me like a man. My boy's just trying to get his five star rating on his DoorDash, but instead he got five stars with the cops. Always be aware of your surroundings. An outdoorsman from the UK was camping in the woods as usual, and as he was cooking up some noodles, he started hearing footsteps creeping up around him. Really good. How about you? Hello? I hope I got that on 15 camera. minutes later, he hears them again. There's that noise again now. Hello? He got a bit of that. Shaken and confused, he thinks about leaving, but eventually decides to stay, and everything seems okay until he tries to go to bed and gets a gut feeling that something isn't right. I'm gonna be honest, I can't stay here now. I don't care if people call me a wimp in the comments. I'm too unsettled. <laughs> I'm nervous. I've done camping like this load of times. I'm, I'm just gonna head off home. I'm too nervous. Trusting your gut is always a good idea. What would you have done? Yeah, man, once that paranoia starts setting in, every little noise bothers you. I've had a couple of times where I wanted to pack up and leave, but I'm lazy and I don't feel like packing after dark. So I probably would be the first one to get unalived in a horror movie. How does some places flood so bad? That's crazy. You had a whole freaking waterfall come through your window. A billionaire who's reversing his age just traveled to a remote island to undergo a procedure he hopes will make him live forever. 46-year-old Brian Johnson has been fixated on reversing his biological age for years and spends around $2 million a year to do so. He's done everything from taking blood and plasma infusions directly from his teenage son to shock therapy on his downstairs member. But now he's revealed he just traveled to a remote island to undergo an 
extreme medical procedure that's not FDA approved in the US. He's now officially a genetically enhanced human because he just edited his DNA with this new gene therapy procedure. When this gene therapy was conducted on mice, they lived 30% longer, and Brian believes it will work on him too. Right now, Brian says every 12 months that pass, he only ages 7.6 months, and he's turned back his clock five years since starting his reverse aging process. Brian believes this procedure he just underwent could change the future of humanity and allow humans to go above the 120 year old ceiling we currently have. Damn, it's been a while since I've seen an update on this guy. He's still going at it, huh? If it works, we won't know till it's too late. This is gonna be the longest experiment ever. <laughs> Maybe this guy's on to something. Now we can all work till we're 90. They're trying to keep us working at McDonald's till we're 120. <laughs> the whole piece of fish. Just gone. Look at that. It's like... A rubbery watermelon. I can't believe I got one. I got a rubbery watermelon. The texture is so weird. Like, you gotta bend it so far before it will break. do here at the store is we take the moldy strawberries out throw them away we put it, sometimes we put it on the floor or we put it in this and this becomes this cut up sold for way more money <laughs> a roach <laughs> The only one I would actually be concerned about was that salmon that was basically melting. You need to get your money back. They completely ripped you off on that one. Well guys, that's all I have today. Thanks for hanging out with me again. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, you're awesome and I appreciate you. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.